Yeah, it's just uniting everyone that loves avocado. There's no... That, <laughs> and I don't it. know anybody who doesn't love avocados. <laughs> no, I, mean, I think they're all deported. I, have no idea. <laughs> nah, I don't know where they are. So I'm on my way to interview one of the owners of a restaurant here in Amsterdam called The Avocado Show. I was at The Avocado Show the other day doing a review of their food and I was seriously impressed by the presentation and the taste of the food and I was inspired to interview one of the owners to find out what the motivation and inspiration is behind the restaurants. So I'm going to head there now and you guys will see the interview with Ron Simpson. Cool. Thanks so much for being here, Ron. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do with the Avocado Show, <laughs> what your role is? Uh, I'm Ron Simpson. I'm one of the three owners of the Avocado Show. Um, it's Julian Zhao, uh, which is also a creative. It's Jamie van Haya, which is obviously the best chef in the world, and uh, me. So my role is mostly concepting, marketing, content, that kind of stuff. That's okay. me. Okay, and what was the original idea behind the Avocado Show? Where did the motivation and the inspiration come from to create a restaurant featuring avocados? I know, right? Um, well, it's, it's a weird story, but it's a good one. Okay. So, me and Julian wanted to start our own place because we're uh, in Amsterdam, we're known for doing a lot of events and food, music, uh, partying, festivals, that kind of stuff. We're like, we're always renting other people's places like why don't we just open one of ourselves where we can you know just enjoy either good drinks or good food or it didn't really matter we just wanted to have our own spot and um we sort of high five on that and then it was like yeah but if we are opening something we need to come with something better than you know yeah. anything that's known like not the hamburger place number 15 or yeah. you know that kind of stuff um and we're also looking at a little bit more healthy food um, we have different diets as well, so it, it was sort of, in Amsterdam it's, it's been really up and coming, there's a lot of people who still eat everything, but there's a lot of flexitarians, there's a lot of vegans out there, there's a lot of things going on, and Julian's girlfriend is like the super vegan, so we always had this, you know, challenge, we were making fun of him at first, like the rest of the world, and then now we're, you know. Yeah. So we were looking at all this kind of stuff, and actually I had a look I love concepts, like it doesn't really matter what it is, we were walking through town and we saw the Nutella Bakery. Okay. Now, not that that's anything super special or anything, but it was, the concept of it is genius. Mm -hmm. Take something that a million people enjoy, probably a billion people enjoy from either childhood or internet or whatever, and open a store where they can buy it in any shape or form. So we were like, hey, that's really cool, because, you know, everyone loves Nutella at least once in his life, so we sort of try and do that. And then we said, what is that? What is that model, but not sugary? Okay. What is that in, in, you know, health or in something that's nutritious and versatile and extremely good looking, like the avocado is? We decided to do that, and since we're marketeers, we called it the show, because we really wanted to deliver a show on a plate. Okay. Um, put that on Facebook, and kaboom. The idea and everything around it was born in five days. And uh, once we put that online, which is really funny, like we never send out a press release or any other thing. We just put it on our Facebook mm -hmm. with this really ugly just iPhone picture down the road when the place was still empty and broken. Okay. We're going to open an avocado restaurant. And I, I literally posted that and I got into a plane and I went to Chile. And it's a 31 hour flight, flight yeah. from here. So you're traveling, there's like no internet or whatever. And once I landed there, like, and I turned my phone back on, I was like, holy, what <laughs> the hell is this? Like, I think I had 1,700 emails and wow. 300 voicemails and everything was blocked. Like, my whole phone wouldn't work anymore. So, I called Julian and I'm like, what the hell just happened? He's like, dude, we're going viral, we're going viral. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. I wanted to ask you something because you were mentioning about veganism and the inspiration behind the food at the avocado show yeah so was it important for you to include vegan mm -hmm. items on the menu and yes. if so why was it important to you very simple um i support a lot of things but i don't discriminate in any shape or form and neither do any of us so if you're a meat eater or a fish eater or whatever we respect that i think everyone needs to change their diet in their own pace and the avocado doesn't discriminate either so yeah. once we opened that door it was like women men 
children, elderly, anywhere in the country, any color, any diet, any race, anything. It was beautiful. Yeah. And we were like, okay, so we need to make a universe of food. I need to be able to feed the vegan person yeah. properly. Yeah. I need to have a cheat meal because yeah. we, you know, Sundays exist. Yes. Um, I need to do all these type of things. So we were like, we made all these classic dishes and then we were like, all right, there's, if a vegan person sees this, they want to eat this as well. Yeah. Just minus all the stuff that's on there because it doesn't okay. meet their, you know. Um, so that's what we tried to do. We created looks and like concepts of food and then different recipes to go with different diets so it would meet everyone's wishes. So my next question is, what is your favorite dish? If you could pick anything on the menu at all. Um, I think my favorite dish on the menu would be the poke bowl oh. at this moment. Oh. <laughs> that's, yeah. to me, that's where it all comes together. Like it's beautiful, it's super tasty, it's healthy, it's fun at the same time. Like it, it has everything from it. Yes. Um, so that, that would be my favorite on the menu right now. And the favorite that is coming. Oh, is this a new and upcoming thing? On oh menu? yeah, we have like oh. 70 dishes still coming. And 70? At least. Wow. Yeah. I think we, we created oh about 300 dishes. I think you're going to need to expand. <laughs> oh, we are. Don't worry about that. Okay. We will. Um, what's my, oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the avocado pancakes. Avocado pancakes? Avocado pancakes. Oh we cracked God. the code. It's, it's true. It's like, it's made with, from avocados. They're super green with blueberries. They taste savory. It's wow. awesome. I have another question for you, and okay. that is, how many avocados do you use in a day at the avocado show? Three hundred eighty-one point seven. <laughs> nah, I have no idea. No. It's probably around there, though. It's probably there. It? Yeah, it's like three hundred fifty to four hundred a day wow. at the moment. Wow. Um, but we use every last bit of avocado. <laughs> of of course, it, yeah. so that's cool. We have like no waste at all. That's nice because usually there's a lot of waste in restaurants. Yeah. A lot of thrown out food. Yeah, we don't need to. Like the beauty about avocado that like if you cut a rose and you, you have the ends of it or something or it doesn't really matter, just go straight into the guacamole machine. You're like Perfect. Ah, guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. So it's yeah, it's perfect. So how can my viewers here on YouTube find you? On your website, um, or on your social media? Basically, if you type The Avocado Show into anything, it'll work. Okay. Um, so you can follow us on Instagram. I think we're on 65,000 fans right now. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, we love showing these really cool pictures of stuff that we make. Yes. You can find us on Facebook, which is also The Avocado Show, or just Google it, or, you know, call us <laughs> for a good conversation. We can talk avocados all day. Beautiful. So, uh, we're also shooting a uh, avocado documentary. Uh, where really? we are going, yeah, we're going to Chile and Peru and I think like Mexico and South Africa and all these places just to see where it all comes from and how you can do it sustainably because we have this really cool um, supplier, Nature's Pride, and they they work with all these countries and we get to go there and see, all right, how do they do the water irrigation? Like, okay. uh, you know, there's been this big complaint, the thousand liter of waters. Well, we already spoke to them. They're like, no, if you use drip irrigation, it's like 220, 230, right? Which yeah. is 75% difference of what the rest is doing. Um, and we're looking at the social side of things, like how do, you, how do they treat their staff and how can you do that properly? Well, thanks again so much for being You're super here. Welcome. <laughs> and thanks you guys for watching this video. I want to know in the comments down below, if you can let Ron and I know, what is your favorite way to eat an avocado? And also, because I know Mine you is know, skydiving. <laughs> have you had an avocado while you're skydiving? I might have. <laughs> really? I might have not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know that there's a lot of different varieties of avocados too. Yes. What did you say, 2,500 different varieties? Of yeah, avocados? it's like 2,000 yeah. plus, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of different varieties. I have tried a few myself. If you have tried different varieties of avocados, also let us know what your favorite one is. Personally, for me, my favorite is called the Shepherd's Avocado, which mm -hmm. I tried in Australia. It tastes smoky. Have you tried it? I haven't tried that oh, one yet, but I'm going to Australia so soon. So oh, that's you nice. have to try the Shepherd's like Avocado. Plan. Yeah, it's a really, really good. So don't forget to let us know that in the comments below. And if you want to see more interviews like this on ethical business or amazing food, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and liking it. <laughs> Pepsi, come yeah. on, come say hi. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> And of course, Pepsi has to make his debut. <laughs>
And that's my reward for doing the interview. I said, I'll do it, but you have to bring the dog. Of course. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more from this channel, subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time.